Hello lovely people, it's Susanna here. I am back with a very long awaited um, video. I've only done two panels for my squishy bag and um, yes, here there's the inside is already done. I, love the, I just love the colours, it's so gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to proceed to work on um, my next panel. So here's the finished one that you would have seen the last one. I um, just did lines on here. But you can't really sort of see it on there. Um, did it um, made this sort of look like a bit of a flower. I just love this little guy. I think he's so cute. That was a fairly easy panel to do. So each of the panels are going to be unique. So it's six sides. So I've got four left. I have been so busy with Oh, so much stuff so here's the patterns that I've cut out and um, you know you can get them on the um, PDF form on my Etsy store if you are interested in do it I've got my little box here with um, bits and pieces that I need um, still umming and ahhing whether I want to do this butterfly I think it is beautiful it might make a really good pocket to be honest um, so I think that I am going to just attach it, not do a great deal. It's actually even got an edge which has been crocheted in there. I might even be able to do a bit of a, yeah. see look I've got my little box here. I don't know if you can sort of see it in the background. Um, I actually think that might even be nice. Just something small so some of these other ones I might even put it that way so I still may just embroider this um, and then line the back of it with probably you know something like like this just so that the um, after I've done the embroidery so I could probably do the embroidery on that in standalone form so that might be something I do in the background I think so one of the panels you may not get to see so there you go I've just eliminated a panel woohoo um, because it's going to be a lot of work for me to do it now this one I love these I just think these are really nice these um these panels, oh, I love that. That's really nice too. Got all these little bits and pieces, and I had this. I might put this and this in my um, in in something else. I've got with creams and that. This I think needs it lends itself towards whites. Now this is the one piece um, that I've got, which Joy gave me. Back. Oh, actually, I know I do have another piece because I did use a another bit with it. Now here are these. This is oh, I think that might even go really well with my um. See, when you're doing one thing, another thing happens. Um. Oh. The mannequin because I'm having it in creams, whites, and you know, all these sorts of colors. So I might utilize this piece of fabric. That's where this is gonna go for the mannequin. So there we go. Okay, let's have a look what we've got in our box. It reminds me of a kid's a kid show I used to watch with my kids. You know, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box today? Okay these colors I do got the some of the threads that I'll probably be using this is my um, stuff I got from France I could probably use that now this is the colors that if I'm going to be using another one of those I will possibly use that I really like that okay it's a look it's a look 
And here's another piece. Oh, I like that too. Pretty, pretty. Okay. So, got a bit of this, bit of that, bit of that. Oh, here's another smaller piece of that. There we go. Okay. Just about emptied the whole box. But this is what I need. I think that might have been for another project. So I'm going the blues and the the blues and the yellows, even though this is sort of more of a greeny colour. So now I'll keep probably keep that piece because I just saw another smaller piece of that. That's the base. I'm just going to keep the base as is. You don't see it on the outside. Like I'm not going to be too fussed on that. I might just do a, like a patchworky one. Methinks. I do like that. Wouldn't mind bringing that in just to sort of complement that a little bit. Maybe even do that. Where's that other piece? Here we go. Here we go. So I could possibly put that in. I think I might even have that on my mannequin again because that's in the whites. So that'll go there. Maybe I can use that one on this one. Okay. So these ones, I'm going to have a bit of everything. Who says I need to have it? Going over the top, but I do like it. You could almost have um, make this into a pocket as well. That way, I've got two pockets on the outside. I think that works. I think that works. I'm going to have to go a little bit higher. On this this one is probably a bit more intact on the top there so I'll use that one for there so that means I've got two that I don't need to do and then two I do I do like that so I'm going to utilize this one on here I might um, do a bit of a play today and do two in one go. Hey, okay? let's be smart about this. I do like this as well. So, one, I'm going to have some of this. I might even be able to just do it like a corner. Who says you need to cover that? I do like this, but I kind of like this part too. Um, and I like this pattern, so it would be nice to see. This once again lends itself to a pocket. Maybe I have three outside pockets. That makes sense, doesn't it? Um, just look whether I use that. I think I'm going to use that one on there. That makes more sense because that's a bit bigger. So that's going up there. And then this will be a pocket going that way. But I think we could still have something pretty on there as well. So, um, where's my pins? We're doing everything in one go. Um, because I'm a bit late to the party, um, you know, I, um, Corinne's, I think, nearly finished hers. 
and even one of our subbies, uh, Martha, she's made one and it looks really good. So that's for there. Maybe I can do something lacy and pretty on the top. This is the white one. She's managed to get a big mess already. Okay, there we go. Careful not to cut into the lace. Not these laces. Oh, sticky. Um, okay. I'm going to put that there, but I might even stick something underneath. Because I think it needs something. How about if I do double lace? That'd be nice. Make it a bit bigger. Yeah, that works. That works. Okay, I'll use this for something else. I think I've got this one. Yeah, see? I've got that one on here, so that'll tie that in as well. Okay. No worries. So we'll put that with that. And that's something I'm just going to stitch down and stitch down here and you know I might even do a little bit of um see I've embroidered on there and I've done the same on here I've just stitched on there so I'll be you don't really see it but it adds that cool tint look so that's what I'll be doing for that one okay well, that's gorgeous and I won't stitch anything on the back of there because we just want it to be a pocket so there we go for that. Now, I am going to fold it over and then put this on. Always grab a little more than what you need. So, in camera yep move it up okay we just need to get these done and that way I get to use some of my French fabric okay which is good going to hold that down for now just don't want it going anywhere while I'm pinning okay doesn't matter if it goes a little bit skew if on the sides because it's going to wrap around okay It'll be a nice, the higher it goes, I think the better it'll sit. And so I'm going to pin that down and I may embroider, I may embroider a little bit like on the sides, but sometimes it's just the fabric itself that does the work. Okay, so I'll do a little bit of work. I'll do a bit more work on the butterfly, I think. Now, the question is, do we do something on the top? Feminise it a bit. 
because it looks like it's a lion and that is its kill so you know that's the only thing with these oh i've got i'm gonna do i'm gonna use that i'm gonna use that okay cut that there and then i'm gonna find some ribbon which i have got in my little box of goodies do you how to make a mess in five seconds doesn't take long does it okay there we go i think that blue one might be all right i don't want it too thick a little box of goodies i've got them out because um I'm only just, you know, just finished cleaning up my ribbon embroidery thing. So, no time like the present. I'll keep that over there. Okay. Um, so, we'll either use a darker one. Which I must think might work or a lighter one either soft or subtle i wonder if that one would work no, i think that one's probably nicer or this no can't see it so we're going we're going for this well i might as well do that while i'm here because it's all part and parcel isn't it okay Which is the front. It's hard to tell with these things. Okay, that'll do. Um, what I'm going to do easiest way cut at an angle I mean this is a bit thick but it's the right color but we're gonna make it work so we're gonna go underneath and then up here I mean this is four ribbon so we might as well utilize it hey even though it's gonna be fiddly Okay, up and over. And if it's a bit bigger, it's probably going to sit and cover it off. If you have a real small ribbon, you won't see it. Okay. There we go. This red keeps coming back. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay. So we haven't got a great deal left. I might even utilise this in maybe. Um, and I like this too for the body of the um, butterfly. Okay. So this baby is going to probably just sit around like that. Um, look at all my beads. Just trying to sort out my big mess over here, but you know, it is a big mess. Okay. I won't have it going, um, straight on the top. I might have it going a little bit lower. Okay, and then I will pin one in here too. Okay, that's pinned, that's pinned, that's pinned. Then we'll pin this. 
Okay, well, there's another one organized. I like that. Okay, now. We are going to have fun with this one because I, I think I do I like this, um, but I sort of want to keep it off to the side. The pins, and then so I got butterfly. Um, that one and then stretch it stitch it so this is the one that's going to have all and leftover bits i wouldn't mind incorporating some more of this actually to be honest so maybe this is going to go the wayside and i'm going to do it that way and i may incorporate some of this i do like that flower so, actually, I'm going to use this because this stuff is shocking. It just frays like there is no tomorrow. That looks like it needs a um, an iron. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a patchy. No patchy piece. So this, these are my inspiration. I do, I do like. I'm going to put my iron on because some of this stuff does need a good iron. So I'll be just here. Okay. Here's another really pretty piece from my French lot but I might just leave that for something else I've got another project in mind that I may do that with um, okay this is going to be cut me ironed okay then quite like this So, I think I'm just going to have just a nice little slow stitch patchy piece. This is going to be a project bag and this is something that I'll take with me and so I want to do something that's you know, gonna reflect what I do. I think that needs to be in the center. I do like this. Okay, I always like these pieces, they're great. Got this from a thrift shop a while back and a whole heap of different colors. Whether that's going to go on top, maybe the one the side, just covering, that might work. Don't forget this pin. Okay. Might as well give this an iron while I'm here. Oop. Such gorgeous fabric. Um, okay. So... What have we got so far? Bit of that. So keep that, keep that. I do like this. That's nice. Keep that. But I like this too. Wondering what's going to work better, the darker or the lighter. I like the texture of this piece. Maybe I can just have 
this bit, which is sort of a bit ratty. Coming off the side, I'm going to clean up that piece a bit. I like getting pieces that are nice for texture but also colour. see it so if I had it on the edge at least it's going to sew in oh. certainly ready okay okay ping 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 I might grab these pins because I haven't got the big heads and so they are less likely to get in the way when I stitch. Okay, I like things with stripes in it. Okay, we're making, we're making a bit of a start on actually making a decision. Just had a massive big spill here like everything like I've got a shelf this is the shelf above me and um, the books that I've got up there they sort of went skew if and I had a cup of coffee here and just domino effect I'm like good grief stuff everywhere so I even had my um, rotary cutter land in my coffee that was just classic Okay, now, um, if I do, do I do that way? Can you see a little bit more of this? I quite like that. Maybe not. Maybe it does need to go that way. Okay. I want it that to cover that corner there because I don't want to have to stitch it so maybe come over so it's all about the positioning come over this will need pins with bubbles Okay. Even if I just pin it here, because I need to flip it, flip it up so that I can hold this down. Don't want that to be too crooked. There we go. I like that. It's a bit unusual, but I want to tie it in with it with the uh, the other one. Now, how's it looking from where you are? Hmm, not too bad. Got to be really careful when it comes to stripes. Don't want everything going skew if. Okay. Actually, maybe I ought to leave that loose. Give this a little bit of slack. And then pin it here. Okay. Oop, my pin has gone rogue. Okay. Now needs a bit of something. Need something, something. Okay. Um hmm. oh. 
I had this sitting there and it's got all glue and crap and everything all over it. But this was, um, this is sort of like a bit like a treasured thing. Uh, maybe I should. Um, my niece had an old thing that my my mum had made and this bit of fabric was on there and she'd glued stuff and I thought I'm going to make that into a yo-yo and maybe incorporate it into some of my work. Yeah, that actually works because it's a darker colour. And I know it's not always the prettiest thing, but it's my mum's. And since my mum's not with us anymore, it's nice to have something pretty. Okay, we are going to find a button. Nah. That's the one I got from... Um, Joy. Oh, that's nice. It sort of reminds me of that. I may use that in something else. This is my little treasure trove of bits and pieces. Because we sort of want to take away from the the um the button that's there. Oh, these are pretty. My stone. A perfectly round stone I found in England. Okay. Well, that's cute. That's something different, isn't it? Maybe I can have this little little guy dangling from something. He's cute. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to need to go into my other button stash. Oh, there's that pink one that I... Then I got, I think I need something bigger just to help cover the pink one I got from France that I haven't got very many of. These are really pretty. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, this is all my little bits and pieces. I don't know. I think, see it looks, um, that's going to go with something else. I do like it, but I think it's a bit too blue. Yep, that doesn't work. Okay, what do we need? I think that other small one worked. Stone. Um, going up here, look at this, 32 minutes and I haven't even stitched a thing. Um, um, the blue, blue buttons. It works. Maybe I can just use some of the, uh, the other stuff. I do like this. some of my um what's the name that some of that may go in there you know okay where's my small my scissors it's my william morris that i got from the victoria and albert museum so um, i like that flower I think that may go in. Okay. Don't know whether it's too big. And the fact that it's another flower, a flower and a flower. Okay, what have we got? Maybe something a little lighter. Oh, that's nice. But it's quite bulky. And I want to bring down the bulk a bit. It's got something on there, Golden Breed Surfwear. Well, that's just not me at all, is it? But the cover's right.
is it bulky? Maybe, maybe that one. I'm thinking. Let's have a look what it looks like right from your end. That, even though it's nice and I really like it, I just don't think it's going to work. I think I'm going to put in one of the pockets as a patch. Yep, that's going to work there. It needs something. Maybe I'll put that there. I don't know. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to do some lace. I think that button is the right colour. Okay. And then tie in with the other one. Maybe I should do this lace on this top one because this is what I've got left over. And then do just so that they've all got a bit of lace. So that's going to go on the top there. And then maybe this can go on the bottom there. Going that way. Yeah, that works. It doesn't have to completely go over either side. That's what's missing. Anything's missing, it's going to be lace. Yeah, I think that's it. And if I want to, I could probably just use some of that piece or that. Let's have a look, is that working? Is that working? Maybe, maybe go under like that. Yeah, yeah, that works. I like that. I think I've got it by Joe. This is different, but I think by the time I get the button on there, it's going to work. Yep. Okay, we are done. We know what we're doing now, <laughs> but it's only 37 minutes. My goodness. Okay, put this back. Isn't this gorgeous? Have a look at this. How cute is that? My little little Betty um, made in England sewing machine thing. It's so cute. Little kids one. I've got that sitting up there. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's going to work. I like that. So, um, I can probably do it just a little bit of stitching with you guys. Where are we? Another pin and put that off to the side. Yeah, get rid of it. Yeah, it's quite nice. I do like those little elements, I think they're really nice. You see that? That's good. It balances it and it'll balance that dark blue over there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we are in business. Um, okay, that's going to go there. Got these pieces that I can use for something else. And where did that piece go that I had on the top of there? That probably went flying somewhere. Oh, good lord. Okay, it's somewhere. It's somewhere. I better remember where it is so that I can sew on there. Oh my goodness. Everything's leaking. I'm getting so totally sidetracked. Now I better put that there so that'll go underneath. But on there. There we go. And then that'll go on top of that like that. There we go. So what I may do is I could probably turn it off. And in the next video, um, I will do some stitching um, and all that kind of stuff. So I've got... Put some 
some nice blues that I've got here and then these yellows who knows we can incorporate some of that this is nice I like this one I think these are little leftover bits that I used from um, the previous stitching geez I've got stuff everywhere is that from there no that's just my blue I think they've used this color to do the backgrounds so I'll continue to use that to do the backgrounds and then maybe do um, a little bit of other stuff here okay guys well I will catch you in the next video um, and this will either be stitched and I'm going to be putting my bag together or I'll probably do another one I wouldn't mind showing you how I do some of the, the butterfly but if I do it behind the scenes it'll get done and this squishy bag will be finished because of doing these panels um, it's taking a bit of time I've just been quite busy with stuff so yeah I quite like that and I get a bit of grey and it's looking good so I've got this as well okay guys well I think it is a, a bit of enough of, of it yeah 41 minutes and haven't even started <laughs> so there you go okay well I'll put this in the place and take a photo <laughs> get to see my arrangement and um I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.